Agnes Varda described her method of filmmaking as cinematic writing. Her camera was her pen. Let's talk film! My name's Lauren and I'm a film student who wants to share what I'm passionate about with you. As the name indicates, this is a weekly series, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Today, I'll be talking about the iconic French New Wave filmmaker and director Agnes Varda. Born in 1928, she passed away last March in 2019 and left an impressive portfolio of work behind. Her films focused on achieving documentary realism, addressing feminist issues, and producing other social commentary. She shot on location and often used non-professional actors, which was really revolutionary for the time. Some of her notable films include La Pointe Court from 1955, Cleo from 5 to 7 from 1961, Vagabond from 1984, The Gleaners and I from 2001, and Faces Places from 2017. Varda started as a still photographer before moving into film and really maintained a fluid relationship between photography and film for the rest of her career. She would often include photographs in her films and film in her photographs and really worked to bring them together in a really beautiful, cohesive way. She made La Pointe Court with literally no prior film experience. She was never an assistant on set. She just wanted to make this piece and she did and it was really a precursor to the French New Wave style that she then became a foremost figure in. Agnes Varda considered her approach to filmmaking as instinctive and feminine. She was really interested by character abstraction and neorealism and enjoyed combining fiction and non-fictional styles in the same piece. One thing that I find very inspiring about her is that she worked to make films about ordinary people. Cleo from 5 to 7 does follow a pop singer for two hours, but it's not about her career as a big celebrity pop singer. It's about a woman waiting for the results of a biopsy for two hours. And one thing that's really important about this film from a more feminine side or feminist issue is that with this film, Varda really twists the idea of the gaze because this is really a female gaze and a female vision about what's going on instead of the often male gaze. Her last film, Faces Places, from 2017, earned her first Oscar nomination for Best Feature Documentary. And she was also the oldest person to ever be nominated for a competitive Oscar, as she was 88 years old at the time. She really is an inspiration to me because I would look at pictures of her from literally the 50s and the 60s and pictures of her from the 2000s and she was always out there on set or not on set on location rather out there shooting just being herself wearing her fun colors at the end towards the end of her life I really loved her iconic purple hair she was out there she was old but she wasn't letting that stop her from creating and even though she didn't earn her first Oscar nomination until her very late at the end of her career she really didn't see that as something to be upset about that it took her so long and she was not necessarily really proud of it. And I have a really great quote from her that I think just really speaks a lot to her nature. And that's what I wanna leave you guys with. There is nothing to be proud of but happy. Happy because we make films to love. We make films so that you love the film. And that wraps up this video. <laughs> if you learned something, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below any questions, feedback, anything at all and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my regular videos and the next film Friday. See you next time. Bye!